Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your daily reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you all right aquarius be involved in things that only allow for free you know free flowing free it could freely grow it doesn't tie you in knots it's no restriction okay so uh that's what's coming from spirit be involved in things that you know it's free flowing it's you don't have to do a lot to be involved in it whether this is business love friendship you know, we've been in those situations where we had to do so much to engage. And it just, it first of all, it tires you out initially, like you hadn't even started. And then secondly, it makes you question, you know, if you should even be in this. So this would be the example of, you know, being, um, you know, being in some dating situation or love situation. But, you know, you always have to come to this person and you have to drive here and do that and wait for this and wait on that. And then we have to, you know, it's always as if there are so many hoops to jump through. It's not free flowing. It's not what you want to do. You always are finding yourself conceding or just giving in to this other person. It also could be a friendship where it is always, you know, um, in order to go see this friend and hang out with this friend, you either have to pay, you got to pick them up, you got to do this, do that, take them. It's you know, it's an energy drain. Some of you are dealing with people who are energy, you know, like vampires. They're draining you. They will drain you. Um, that's what they're there for. So let's see what's going on. Let's see what the uh, the tarot has to offer you. So being things that are free flowing, it just feels good. It's, it's room for growth. You don't have to tie yourself in knots to be involved in this thing, uh, in this relationship, whatever it may be. I got to figure out this might hang on. Okay, where am I going? How am I going to do this? All right, there we go. Okay, Aquarius, let's see. What is happening? Okay, first card out, the two of wands, yeah. So this is about a choice, okay? It says be cautious, be very diligent in deciding, you know, what you're going to choose, what you're going to, you know, make the decision of. Because you're going to cut one opportunity out and go to the next here this could be in love relationships this could be in career and finance in love and relationship it could even indicate that there are two options you could be one of the two options it could indicate cheating having the wild spontaneous fun option and then the tried and the true you know it could be it could indicate someone going in between or being in between it also can indicate that look one of these two options is going to eventually dominate the other so if you don't you know readily make the decision it'll come to a place where you're you know you're kind of backed in you know into a corner you know your wallet your your back is against the wall here you're going to have to make some type of decision it also says in the two of wands since you know the wands are about doing and action and moving some of you could be moving you're trying to figure out where you will be moving with the two of wands it also talks about you know if you make the wrong decision here right here at the two of wands it could lead you down some karmic cycle some karmic role what is karmic so it's a situation where maybe you'll have to learn a lesson here now um that lesson can be great it can be small whatever but it says really you know go over the options here um and also it talks about again with the two it talks about negotiation and compromise and we talked about that initially, um, being in situations, relationships, whatever, that uh, just requires you to make all of these sacrifice and compromise. And um, it's not free flowing. I just keep hearing rejection. You might have to reject something. You also need to know that the grass is greener on the other side. That's what the two of wands says. So it may be walking for, away from the tried and true and going to something that is new, spontaneous, adventurous, fun. It also says that you have found financial stability between doing two different things, but 
one of those things will eventually dominate the other. So you're going to have to decide. It's altogether a decision. And if you've been at the channel for a while, you know here what a decision is. It's not a choice. The choice is, okay, the restaurant has hamburger and hot dog. You know, I'm, okay, I'm going to choose, you know, hamburger. You know, but if I want to come back and get a hot dog, it's readily available for me, right? But a decision is saying, look, it's either hamburger or hot dog. If you choose hot dog, the hamburger will not be readily available for you. You've made a decision, so you've gone in and cut away. So some of you need to cut something away. You need to be, it's going to eventually cause you to do away with something here. So some of you are at that crossroad, like, do I do away with this long term career job that I've been doing, that I've been in, that maybe I'm finding myself a bit, you know, discontent? Um, do I go and do this new adventurous thing? Do I um, allow for this new adventurous person? Do I do I trust them? Do I go with it? it, it, it the two of wands could even indicate red flag here, too. Let's see what else is going on. I know that was a lot. Okay, and thank you, Aquarius. Take care. Many blessings to you. Go book your own reading. At the... <laughs> um, let's see. Whoa, okay, so you get three cards coming out. King of Pentacles, Will of Fortune, and the Star card. So some of you, this is a trust issue. You don't trust yourself. You need to listen to yourself. Listen to your intuition. You need to be a listener also in terms of conversation with other, especially a king of pentacles, cancer. I said cancer. Okay. So for some of you, it is a cancer, but it is a uh, Virgo, Taurus and Capricorn. Um, you need to accurately make a decision here if you're done with it or you're not. Are you engaging or are you not? This could even be, of course, in terms of your career. You, you're already set. You have money. You also are going down a different path, a different road. It says, Aquarius, whatever you choose here, whatever you decide on, the will of fortune is here. So the will is turning in your favor. Um, things are working out. You could be with you could be with a soulmate, a twin flame or something like that. Or if the, if the question is, is this person a soulmate? Yes, they are. You have to just determine what type of soulmate they are for you, good or bad. You also have to determine if somebody's bringing you good or bad karma. That's something for you to kind of go over. Um, it looks like some decision that you, you're making in your career is going to lead you to the king of pentacles. It leads you to fortunate. It's a fortunate a situation looks like some wish fulfillment also it could be a person for some of you this is career and finance whatever you have chosen whatever you have done whatever you decided on it looks like it's going to it's going to bring about a new standard of life maybe you'll be in a new social group you could meet new friends new business partners um, something or someone someone higher up maybe even someone who has a superiority over you in you know a work setting or something or someone who has more knowledge of someone who took a systematic approach to doing something will provide you with a lot of advice like this is how you should this is what I did this is you know this is what works instead of you going you know taking this kind of wayward approach to it maybe you need to be systematic rational about what, how these changes are made how you will bring in that fortune some of you have done energy work to shift your fortune also it looks like big wishes dreams are being fulfilled will be fulfilled maybe by time of your birthday next birthday season uh the star card aquarius card also, for some of you, this is also trusting your intuition, having compassion for somebody that puts you in a place of distrust, mistrust. You you placed your trust in them and they hurt you. They abandon you. They um, were a liar, a cheat. You know, they stole from you. They stole from you, whether that was, you know, physical or energetically, emotionally. Um it looks like somebody even may be coming back even saying that they've changed. Someone could want reconciliation with you also here. Someone could want to marry you is what I'm getting also. Um, some of you are going to sit in different groups of people. This is a different social um, standing or social setting. Um, 
your psychic abilities are being heightened right now, Aquarius. It's like uh, write your dreams down. Let's see. Yeah, the Ace of Wands and the Fool card. Nothing but good cards. This is about taking action. You know, being up for the challenge. Because something is a challenge. Throwing your hat in the ring. So that means that other people have done this, are doing this. You know, so maybe you can go and draw from maybe an expert, get expert advice about how you should make this move, how you should start this business, how you should go about a relationship, um, learning about yourself also. Um, someone you're dealing with, it may not be as romantic as you want them to be, but they're definitely solid, stable, assured, or this is you, Aquarius. Uh, the fool card, it is about taking a leap of faith a calculated risk also following your dreams following your heart's desires make sure that your heart is uh, in alignment in accordance with the, the will and the purpose of your life you know if you follow your heart's desire and your heart's desire is not in alignment with your purpose uh, of why you're here then maybe you go down that road of you know needing to learn some lesson there um, again, meeting somebody and feeling like they're the one, but being unsure, maybe because this person has been in and out flighty, they wanted something, no strings attached. This person could also live at a distance from you. They're not, re <laughs> they're not readily available. Okay. Um, this is somebody here who's just not sure if they should trust three of wands it says in order to get something done you need to take the leadership role you need to show you need to get out in front you need to be the lead show that you have great leadership qualities especially with the three wands coming out this could even indicate that maybe you feel like somebody's going to string you along you know um that this will have no growth or it won't have any stability the three of wands also says you know, it's about expansion and growth. That's what you want with a particular person. Maybe even in your career, you've put something out, you've communicated to either your person or a lot of different people. It's like you're waiting for the answer or waiting for to hear something back. Good news is coming with the three of wands here. It's something that you want to hear, but you're just in a, a place of waiting. You've done all that you can do. You've done the work and now you're waiting for the other piece, okay? The other shoe to drop. You're definitely with the three here waiting for communication. You're in a place of pause. You know, I'm thinking about why you got here or why you're here or what you're doing or what you'll do next. It says opportunities will be presenting themselves to you. If you don't see it, look again here. Some of you could be in e-commerce or commerce or you, you, you ship something out and you know then you have to wait or some of you have made payment for something you're waiting for it to come in the four of cups um if this is a love relationship don't get in your way emotionally you know don't get in a place of you know woe is me uh, maybe even um depression um being so self-centered and redirecting everything back to yourself that you can't see the blessing the gift in something or someone you could also be dealing with someone who's like that they will you know get down in the dumps this is someone who was so self-centered that they couldn't see maybe that you were a blessing you are a blessing this person is wanting to come back to you talk to you be with you ex um experience something with you let's see the magician yeah so somebody's doing some energy work okay um it could be a masculine energy they you make them happy they want to be with you you know being with you is great um let's see what's going on here see what you're dealing with aquarius some of you are just manifesting abundance big money big things happening for you don't get in your own way um know that it is you know that know that it is you know, okay know that it is all right i'll leave it alone okay let's see who is aquarius dealing with somebody who is definitely long distance maybe children are in the way or someone has children their children play a factor or they're their main factor here you're dealing with maybe someone you being at a distance from your children um, you're dealing with someone who, who you have children with. You put some distance in between the two of you. 
let's see. I'm here. Somebody doesn't like it. Someone wants to talk to you. They just want opportunity with you. It's definitely doing some energy work. Money. So money is coming in. Uh, money is playing a factor here. Some of you want the money, the back pay, the support for the children. It's been a long time since someone has paid money uh, for the children or the child. Um, somebody knows that you're getting money or money is coming to you. Okay. Spiritual growth. Yeah. This could have been a karmic situation that it pushed you to grow spiritually. You know, you you were prompted to flourish in your spiritual growth, whatever capacity that may be. Some relationship caused a lot of drama and turmoil in your life to the point where it was just like, it's you. That's what you are reaching for. You just were reaching for something that went you know, help you help bring understanding as to why, why did I meet this person? Why did I go through this? Why, why that? Also, um, so, you know, that relationship could have been, you know, divinely orchestrated so that you can come to the place where you are now. Some relationship is offering you that opportunity, like, you know, come to spiritually grow. It's not just that they are in your life, cause havoc but it was also see the bigger picture some of you have moved on from a particular person they're watching you beauty queen they're watching you on some type of platform they're watching you get a lot of attention they're watching you dressed up looking good smelling good and living life um transference of wealth all right so it's like somebody's watching you get all that is all that is due unto you Somebody doesn't like it. They feel like they need to be a part of it. They didn't want this for you. They may have even manifested or tried to manifest destruction uh, in your life. Uh, man, they tried to manifest just altogether negative things. Um, but it seems as if, you know, you are the, the rose that grew from the concrete. Where is that? The rose that grew from like a barren place. <clears throat> yeah it's like <clears throat> excuse me now i'm getting all choked up um somebody is depressed that you just getting everything that you deserve hang on <clears throat> someone is just <clears throat> Ooh, they are choked up. They don't want you to know that they're absolutely jealous of you. Um, you may have children with this person. They see you spiritually growing. You may do some spiritual work for your hobby, your job, whatever it may be. They just see that you don't have time for this. You have put distance. You put a long distance in between you and this person. But they are really trying to manifest you back, manifest opportunity with you. Why does this person want Aquarius back? Why are they so angry? This is an angry, um, this is somebody who feel like they missed out on you, missed out on the opportunity that is with you. They don't like where they are. <coughs> they could be sick. Mm. I'm not sick. I just got choked up. Your person, whomever this is, could be sick. What's going on? They want to have sex with you. I was getting that. They want to have sex with you. They want to have fun with you. They want to do things with you. They miss you. They miss your abundance. They miss the, you know, just the, the feeling that you gave them when they were with you. Could be a water sign. Pisces coming up. <clears throat> Why does this person want Aquarius back? The hangman. Yeah, they feel like they missed out on something. It's like they're in some type of purgatory where they have to look at their life, look at what they did, look at what they didn't do. Look at the, the chances that they took, what they sacrificed just to get. And they, they may not have anything. Wow, three of swords. Because they're absolutely hurt, heartbroken. Um, and they don't like the isolation and the alienation. So that means you put <clears throat> you put space. You put space between you and this person, especially in terms of communication. We know that threes represent communication. So... I don't know if you don't communicate with this person or your communication is very straightforward, especially if you have children. It could just be about the children. This person is, you know, broken. You know, their heart is broken. They missed out on this abundance that you have or that you bring. The, the abundance is you, Aquarius. They chose something else. 
over you and now they're deep regret <clears throat> remorse they don't like how you have just divorced them it could be a physical divorce or you could just be you know you divorce them in terms of they don't exist in your world anymore this could be three people this could be one person this could be a group of people they don't like how you can just isolate yourself and alienate yourself and not look back what, why does this person or people, why, why do they, what are they after? Judgment, wow. I heard recompense. They want, they want forgiveness. They may even want to apologize. They want you to immediately take them back. Whether it's friends or family or loved one, they want you to immediately, to make some snap decision about them. You know, like, look, we're, we're back friends or maybe we aren't, but they want to hear yes. They want to hear a yes answer from you. They want to be forgiven, absolved of all of their wrongdoing. Ooh, they're being held in some type of contempt, some type of purgatory. This person, this is somebody, or this is a group of people who were doing a lot to you, around you, okay? And um, they're feeling that judgment, you know? They're under some strict, heavy judgment. Their life is upside down. Um, <clears throat> your angelic team, spirit team, it's been okay, 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 all right. It's just been whooping ass, like seriously, in the spiritual realm. Yeah, they want to revive this relationship, they feel like only you can take them out of this place. All right, what does so, Yeah, they want, um, they could even six of pentacles want money. They see that a power dynamic has happened between you and them. It used to be that you were in need, you were in a place of low, and they were, you know, they were in a place of where they had a lot of abundance, a lot to give. They could have given something to you, or they could have not. They could have shunned you, but the, the power dynamic has changed. So now you're in a place where <clears throat> you can offer peace, you can offer restoration, you can offer um, balance. Uh, the power dynamic has shifted. They could want they want something from you. It could be energetic. It could be money. It could be help. They see you as help. The higher fan. They want to make something right. They want things the way they used to be. The status quo. Whatever however you guys dealt with one another, that's what they want back. However it used to be, that's what they want your guidance also. You feel like you're a good guide or you give good advice. They may even want your gift, your gift of guidance. They want, they want, okay, how you can lead, how even in the face of adversity, you can thrive or you have, you know, thrived or you, um, you listen to guidance, you got out of something. The Queen of Cups, they want your gift, especially if it's spiritual. They want some spiritual gift from you or they want it to be taken from you. Either they want to take it or they want it to be taken. They want, um, see, Aquarius, some of you are traditionally beautiful. So that means that if you are scaled or polled on your, your beauty, you know, predominantly people would say yes this person is beautiful or attractive right so you're a traditional beauty um they want that from you they also want uh you you have a layered personality about yourself they want that <clears throat> they want that um that opportunity this person they desire everything that you have they desire how you operate, okay? Because the Queen of Cups, okay, let's talk about what she's doing. The queens are the doers of the tarot. So she is actively, um, she's trying to maintain emotional stability, okay? So how you do that is you don't let anything unravel you. So they want that, that innate ability that you have within yourself. This is a fixed energy. Uh, Aquarius is a fixed energy. This typically represents Scorpio. You could have gone through some deep transformative awakening in your emotions. You don't let things unravel you like it used to. What people say, what they do, this person wants that. They don't have that. 
they admire and they even covet that about you they um like the fact that you again back to that vice give, that you're a gift to the world again something about your gift this person could want to steal your gift this is absolutely nuts this is somebody who just you know <laughs> you can't hate something that you didn't once love right so it's like they it's a love hate situation they love you but they also hate you they hate you just because you're you you know um let's see what else why does this person the queen of swords they see that you're not jaded also you're independent fierce you make really good decisions you're the executive. They understand. See, this person really wants what you have and what you have to offer the world because they can't do what you do. When things don't add up to you, when it just doesn't make sense, when it doesn't bring you any value, it brings you down. You can take on that Queen of Swords energy and just sever ties with it and go to something new. And you don't look backwards. The only time you look backwards is when someone's trying to drag you back there. And you have to even cut that off or out. This person doesn't or these people don't have the capacity to do so. They don't know how to leave well enough alone. They don't know how to get out of the past. They don't live in the present. They live in the past. This person or these people don't like the way you operate. If we're not friends, if we don't talk, if we, um, if there is no type of relationship, you're not checking for them. You're not checking for it. And this is a completely opposite. This, these people or this person is completely opposite. They spend time looking up, looking around, asking about people that are no longer in their lives, especially the Aquarians. They want all of this. It's like they admire you, but they also hate you, that you're not engaging. Like, how could you alienate, isolate yourself from us is what I'm hearing. This is a person who lives by that whole, you know, um, what's the saying? I can't even think of the saying, but it's like, this is somebody here. It's like, um, they're always like we're always gonna be friends or you know or blood is thicker than water and things that even if you know people treat you horribly they they, they still believe in you know outdated thinking archaic type of you know thinking they just believe that you will always stick around even though they talked about you they were negative towards you hateful said things engaged in uh this is a diversion this is um this is co coercion or co whatever that's what i'm hearing it's like i don't know these people like came together to try to pull you down the high priestess they don't like the fact that you wow aquarius you just unmovable like these people could be on fire well no you would put them out you have a good nature and then you move on. That's that's what they don't like. If they were on fire, you'd help put them out. And then you'd move on. There is no, just because we went through and that just happened doesn't mean that we're, we're friends or we're, there's a relationship that started back up. These people don't like the fact that you're able to sever ties with the past with the old with things that just brought no value with people who hurt you this this could even be in here in your own family they don't like that you're just able to just keep going and you don't look backward they don't like your gift they don't like, some of you can sing or you have like um some talent you're now fostering it and cultivating it and making it even better they don't like that you have something to offer the world yeah the page of swords they don't like how you just the conversation is short if you have to communicate with them it says that it's very short you know what the page of swords says it says lack of communication or very little communication out of fear 
of an argument, of a disagreement. So maybe you you don't communicate with these people as much because you don't want to you don't want to go down the rabbit hole. You don't want to argue. You don't want to fuss. You don't want to fight. There is no fight. There is no argue. But they want to do that with you. This person just doesn't like that. You're good alone. You look good. Um, you're a threat to other women, especially because, okay, you know, high priestess came out. Um, they don't like your feminine energy. They don't like that you're quiet, but you know. See, you got something on these people. You know something about them. and But it's not that you're, you're you know, you're, you're not on social media posting it or you're not telling other people or you're not parading it, you know, in their face. Like, hey, I know what you did last summer. No, it's just that you know that you know that what, whatever they did to you and you keep your distance. They don't like that you have some psychic abilities, that you can tap into the universe, that you get downloads. They don't like that you, you just know stuff. Um, okay, cloaked. You may have cloaked your energy. You may have done a cloaking spell if some of you are, you know, kind of witchy. It look, it, you know, it seems as if um, they don't like that they can't read you and can't read what's going on about you. Um, you are the subject of gossip here with the Page of Swords. This is absolutely ridiculous. Just because you don't want to talk and you don't want to engage and you don't want a relationship, these people or this person, they act in a straight donkey. It looks like something big is about to happen for you, Aquarius, because that's when, um, you know, all of the demonic spirits, they just start to, you know, um, they try to get it. They, they're in a frenzy. So, however, they can get you to react adverse to um, your new self to your spiritual self to your enlightenment they will try to get you to to be that way but stand firm and strong in in your new person in the new person that you are your renewed self don't go back to don't let them drag you back into it's not worth it and these people you know that it's like they're grasping or grabbing at straws it's like they're trying to pull anything let's see the dragonfly, yeah, be lighthearted, finding out things coming to light. I, I told you, you know something about this person. You know something about these people. You know what they did, and they know that you know, but nobody's saying anything. They're not going to admit to it, and neither are you bringing it to light. Just know that I know that you, you're you a shady hater. You did this. You did that. Keys on a ring, many options, decision, unconventional, string along, one night stand. Back to some of you feel like a particular energy in your life. You feel like they're going to string you along. You feel like it's going to be, you know, adverse to what it is you say you really want. You feel like this person has many um, options or it, it's just a heavy decision that needs to be made. It's unconventional. Maybe because this person is not in a place where they can be in a committed relationship. It could be that they already have a commitment. It could be that they don't have enough resources to provide to uh, a commitment. Cupid's arrow, have faith. Love is coming. A surprise invitation or meeting. Hesitation. Yes, some of you are hesitating to make a decision or to get back out there also. Let's see what else is happening for the Aquarius. Cassette, outdated thinking. We just said the conditioning, replaying events over in your head. This is somebody else. Somebody has some outdated thinking like, you know, just because we know each other, we knew each other when we were young and we grew up with each other. We still need to be in communication. We still need to talk. We need to look at each other. We need to just let bygones be bygones. Let me do me all over your life. No, this is outdated thinking. You know, you do not exist or live with triggers. You eliminate them. So if someone triggers you, especially negatively in the adverse you just eliminate that. And I think Aquarius has done that phenomenally. Like, and this person, these people or person has some outdated thinking like, well, we have children together, so we should still be able to, I don't know, you fill in the blank. But no. Kisses, unconditional love, giving, receiving, affection, fault. Somebody could be falling in love, not showing true feelings, high. Um, they're hiding, gaslighting. Yeah, somebody's trying to gaslight you. Again, back to like someone's trying to um, get move you off your square, you know, because something big, monumental is about to happen for you, Aquarius. All right, let's see. I'm close. Lightning. This I can't make it up. Sudden change. Shocking news. Surprise. Epiphany. Transformation. 
upheaval. All of this is happening because you're getting ready to transform into the person that you're supposed to be. It's going to be absolutely shocking to this person. And also you got some shocking news or you something that you 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 uh, suspected and then you got confirmation of it. You've had some epiphany about what it is you should be doing. The universe could be surprising you. You're going to have sudden change, Aquarius, to your entire life. Money will be a factor in that. It'll give you the um, the independence, uh, the access that you need. Yeah. Okay, so we'll leave you with one of these cards. And I got to get out of here. I got a personal reading to do. Let's see. All right, let's see. This person... Are these people absolutely crazy? The devil's in a frenzy is what I heard. Okay, 44. Some of you, master number, strength. Look, she's carrying the weight of the world. You have something to give to the world. You're angelic. You're agile. You can, you're flexible, nimble. You deal with things as they come. Yeah, some of you are diving into that sacred pool, some type of occult knowledge, magic, energy work, psychic abilities, spirit, white light. You get ready to ascend Aquarius. I'm going to read 44. I don't know all the meanings to these cards. And um, let's just see if it piggybacks off the reading, which I feel like it does. You've got strength to accomplish any task, Aquarius. Your ideas may be tested right now. But you just need to refine the idea. So you need to go back to the drawing board and maybe cut, you know, cut the fat here, here and there. Some relationships are being deepened. You have to determine which ones those are. Wow, we just talked about that. No matter what happens, nothing can move you off the course of evolution. And we see that people, things, spirits working with these people are trying to move you off the course of evolution. Um, you're able to harness your creative energies, Aquarius. That's really good. For magic is in the process of finding a form to take Okay, Aquarius, a lot of magic happening in your life. This is very, this is beautiful. Okay, so remember that real strength comes from a combination of your efforts and reliance on higher power working through you. All is possible. And, and I think earlier in the reading, just go back. It was like, I was trying to say that it is, but the, I don't know, as I experienced, it's like, no, it is. It is. You need to know that it is. So, I don't know, Aquarius, this is, I'm getting goosebumps. This is really good. See, you're able to create or co-create because you understand that, you know, you understand your effort and then you, you rely on your higher power, whatever you believe in. Um, and anything is possible right now for you, Aquarius. This is absolutely phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Um, I want to read Sacred Pool really quickly. I'm going to just skim through it. Oh, I am about to be running late. Okay. All right, let's see. Um, when you look into the mirror, what do you see? So just focus on self-love and self-esteem. I think the last reading we had um uh, Solamente only. You know, solo. Um, reflect be at peace with yourself yeah some of you have just detached to do self examination and just be honest with you some of you wow you're really filled with white light divine shining through your eyes very nice You watch this your unique service to the world is not only needed, but celebrated. What do we talk about? You are a gift to the world. The Queen of Cups and the High Priestess came out. Do know that, Aquarius. You offer something to the world. And you're being celebrated here and there. 
see love within you and it will return to you tenfold. Be at peace for you are beautiful and loved. And we talked about that. Like some of you, you just, you radiate, you're radiating beauty, love, peace, passion, compassion, because you're filled with spirit. So people are seeing a different type of beauty in you. Act with surety and confidence and success will be yours. Whatever you're inquiring. We just had with the 44, whatever you uh, want to manifest, you can manifest right now. It looks like you are. It's like back to the reading. Some of you just unsure. I got this idea. I'm trying to do it. I don't know if it's going to work. Blah, blah, blah. You need to allow yourself to be planted, you know, in the waters of divinity. If you're planted in that water, then do know that you will not see the day of um, drought, uh, pestilence. But make sure that you're rooted and grounded in divinity first. Make sure that you, you know, understand the importance of divinity in everything that you do. Just acknowledge God, spirit, divinity in all that you do. Be planted in that. And you'll see so many things open up for you. And you'll see that your works, your works will be blessed. This is what I have for you, Aquarius. If it resonates for you, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Go over to the website and book your own reading there. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the Buy Ella Coffee link. Thank you. Many blessings to you. Get these amethyst and black tourmaline bracelets at the uh, website level. I tell you, they are phenomenal. I'm going to post some of the... Um, testimony to some of the people who bought these i did do ritual and prayer over them for you guys so you can have healing self-love we just talked about that um self-identity and also protection because you got people doing some energy working and people coming at you from all different sides because they see you are a gift to the world not just one person or two people or to your little community but to the world you have something to give um also prosperity here also. Uh, thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. Take care.